Hello there! This time we're going to make a Toreador. Um, in the nature I have uh, taken Creep creep show because that uh, I think uh, that is um, suitable uh, because I think I will make an artist so your paintings are going to uh, creep people out and your demeanor how people see you is uh, gallant so uh, so you f people think you are uh, uh, finer person or you know, a gentleman uh, we, uh, every vampire start at uh, generation 13 is how close you are to the original vampires and here you are 13 uh, links uh, away from the first um, I already set some starting points these are indicators for what you're going to use for your all specs clarity and presence uh, I think I will make a role playing based one um, for this one uh, but uh, as an artist, you are probably in, probably very social uh, and very um, uh, dexterous. Uh, you have uh, seven, five, and three points. You can put in one of these: physical, social, or mental. Uh, like we will put the seven points here. So uh, we will put a little bit in every one of these and a little bit in manipulation. So you are very uh, handsome, uh, very charismatic and you are normal at manipulating people. Um, then we will use the... We will use the five points here because we want to have a lot of dicks dexterity. Uh, some GMs will argue for intelligence, but find out what, or perception maybe. Uh, but I think it's dex, so um, we will have a okay high dexterity, uh, and just a normal strength and a normal um, stamina. So we can soak damage, we can hit hard, or grab people, and carry stuff, and we are painting very well. Um, and then three points here. Uh, I think we will not be that fast at reading or reacting, so we have normal intelligence and uh, perception, uh, see, uh, discover things. Um, yeah. Down here we have uh, 13, 9, and 5 points. Uh, the 13 points I will put in talents, then the 9 points in skills, and 5 points in knowledges. Uh, this is a little bit tricky because down here I have taken a uh, other trade. Um, I think it's actually called something else than art, but for the cigarette, for making it more easy, uh, we will call it art. So that's how good we are at painting and uh, make sculptures and so on. Um, something I normally do is I take one in everything uh, I want and then uh, put a few more points uh, when I know what I like. You should always take alertness, that's the ability for you to see if people are stealing from you, hiding, so on. Athletic, dodging, attack, hitting with throwing weapons, uh, jumping, make a, yeah, a cool jump or something. Awareness, you see magical stuff. Um, brawl, you can fight with uh, hands, you can grab people and so on. Uh, I would say always take one in that. Empathy uh, is for your... Uh, all specs and I mean presence, I think presence, so we will oh, put that high. Expression, you are an artist, uh, role playing based, so yes, we will have something in expression. And also if you are making paintings, that's really important, you can feel with the painting, and so on. Intimidation is for your presence. Um, you could be a uh, torture soul that intimidates people when he got critics for his painting, so we will take it one point, uh, one, or we'll wait that, one point in everything, and then leadership, we're not a leader, streetwise, we know where to get uh, supplies, and where not to go, and find a good spot to paint, and so on, and subterfuge, you can lie, that's also pretty nice, always take one in streetwise, and most of the time, take one in subterfuge, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect, we have three points left, and that we will take in art. 
so we are great artists uh, we really feel with people and we we're not bad necessarily in all these um, the difference from having zero and one in a in one of these is that the difficulty is raised by three so if someone trying to steal from you and your difficulty is six now it's difficulty nine uh, so it's good to have uh, one dot in as many as you can uh, the difficulty doesn't fall if you get higher uh, but there's a difference from zero and one then we will use nine points here uh, we are artists and we probably have a cat or something uh, going around in our gallery uh, I think that makes sense. Uh, craft, uh, uh, we can fix stuff, repair stuff, uh, it's a brush, uh, damage, you can you know, fix it basically. Uh, drive, you can drive so you can get supplies, I think that. Etiquette, you are an artist, um, of course you can do that. Firearms, uh, not necessarily, not necessarily, but you should uh, take at least one dot in either a brawl, firearms, or melee, so you just have a um, you know, basic ability of fighting. Um, and since we're not going to hit people, it's better to just threatening people with a gun. It's harder for you to go around with a sword or something. So I'll take one firearms, just so you can defend yourself. Uh, lastly, you can break in places. You're an artist, you're probably not going to break in uh, that many places. Perform, that is uh, the ability to make stand-up, dance, um, play music, and we are artists, so I think I think we are we are someone who can maybe play a guitar or something. Um, but just one first. Uh, stealth, you can sneak around. Uh, yes, because if you want to have uh, a great painting of someone. Uh, eating or anything, you have to sneak up upon them and paint them from a distance. I think that's well well, well endowed. And one in survival, uh, you go out in the nature and find bark or find people sitting uh, with their lunch or now you're a vampire, probably a little bit harder but you get the point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one point. Um, I would either, either put it in perform or etiquette, uh, but we can you know, basic play a guitar. So I think we are more, you know, a, a gentleman, a fine person. Uh, we have gone to school. Uh, we, we probably don't know how to use a computer because uh, the professional artist I know, uh, the old school, uh, don't use it. But you can take one. Of that. It's not super important. Finance, probably not, but you only have one because you're selling paintings and so on. You have one in finance. Investigation, always take one that that's is the way that's the ability to find stuff, hidden uh, hidden doors, uh, a gun who is put away, or anything you really need. Um, always take uh, one in investigation. It's also called search in some books. But most people uh, use investigation for that, so just one dot. Uh, law, probably not. Uh, we don't have that many points. Medicine, no. Occult, uh, always take one in occult, then you know there exist uh, werewolf, vampires, mages, face, uh, spirits, and so on. Um, we have one dot left. I don't think we have politics, science, or technology. So we will take one more in academics. We have taken uh, some art classes and so on. Then we have three points here. Oh, yeah, sorry. These cannot be raised to more than five. These, these cannot be raised to more than three. And these cannot be raised to more than three. Um, all specs is the ability to see stuff you normally couldn't. Uh, with one point, you can heighten your senses, see better, hear better, smell better, taste better. With two, you can see aura, see if people are mad. Uh, happy, suspicious, anything in the aura who would who would uh, tell you uh, tell you uh, tell you uh, that, or you can see if people are mages, vampire, werewolf, and so on. So that's pretty good. That's with uh, if you have two in it, and with three you can touch an object and see what that object uh, saw uh, the last great emotion from it. Like if 
a guy who is dead, you touch his jacket and see the one who shot him. That's basically that. Celerity uh, increases your dexterity by one for every dot you have in, have in it. Um, or you can use one of your blood points, I'll come back to that, to uh, not get that plus one dex, but get an extra action um, for each dot you have. And presence is if you're one, you can um, make all people in a room uh, listen to you or give you some attention. With two, you can threaten people by showing your vampire uh, form. Um, and with uh, three, you can make people so entranced by you that they will do anything for you. Uh, as an artist, I think we will have at least one in person. And I actually think um, I think I will try to get it, this at free, but all specs one, so you can um, see better, uh, feel better when you're brushing and making art and so on. And just one more person, role playing based, no, it doesn't make sense. You don't want to frighten people, but with free, people would do anything for you, mostly. Uh, then you have back, uh, backgrounds. You have five points. Normally, uh, I would take generation to lower my generation from 13 all the way down to uh, 8. But uh, as an artist, I think we should do something else. Um, I think the first one we'll take is alternative in identity. Uh, maybe um, your vampire is de declared dead, so you have you know a fake passport or something uh, to show that you are alive. Uh, then some resources, so you have some money to buy uh, paintings and so on. And then maybe influence one. Uh, so we have, you know, we are known as one who sell paintings and so on. We, we can go into underground artists shops and so on and sell our paintings maybe. They know who we are. I don't know if that is the correct one or it it is contacts, or maybe contacts actually. Uh, and uh, last thing we'll take is hurt. That is uh, that is uh, people who willingly are feeding your blood. So we have five points: uh, one in contacts, one in hurt. We you do have a few people feeding from. Uh, you have two in resources and one in alternative ident identity. So you have money enough to live uh, and pay your rent, and you have uh, some fake ID, and you have a contact, there's an art gallery, and you have a few people you feed from, so you don't have to use time on that. Then, uh, on these cannot be raised to more than five. Uh, versus, uh, you only have seven points of that, and you have raised it to more than five. Conscience is how easy you have to, uh, how easy you have by killing people. Uh, are that uh, hurting you or not? Self self control. Are you smelling blood or really want to make a painting done in, in time? Can you control yourself not to continue painting? Encourage. Uh, are you seeing fire or sunlight? Are you running? Uh, so I think we will have a high self control. Not probably not mixed around uh, for role playing purposes. Uh, you know you are not a coward and. You, you have a conscience, uh, but if you want to be the painter who kills people and paint with their blood or something like that, you could put your self-control down, that's not that good because your vampire weakness uh, for this clan is that if you see something fascinating you have to roll a self-control roll to not be stunned and just look at it like if you see fireworks or something. You just standing there for minutes, maybe hours, until you snap out. So if you want to, and if you want to kill people and paint with the blood, take your down to courage and conscience like that. This makes for your humanity and your courage makes for your willpower. So you have eight in humanity. You are very humane. You are more, more humane than most people. You can put it up or down if you want. Uh, and your willpower is only at two. Then, uh, yeah, I will explain, explain the weakness. Uh, you have 10 blood points, and you can use one blood point a turn. Every time you wake up, you have to use one blood point, and uh, you have to feed to get that back. And if you have any abilities that re requires blood, you use it. So if something re requires you two blood points, you cannot use it until your 
generation falls. But the only thing uh, in these abilities you uh, use blood on is celerity and you only use one. Uh, down here I have taken some flaws. Uh, tortured Artist is in the book that is called Law of the Clan, Law of Clans, uh, who just makes that you hate every painting you are making, you think there is something flawed with it, you want to make it better and better and better, you are a tormented soul. Give you one point. Grim of the Dam, if you feed from people, uh, bite it by the neck, they will scream for help and they will not go into this ecstatic feeling of, oh, this is nice. And old flame before you got bitten, that's what the floor does. Uh, someone you cared a lot for uh, was taken in by an opposite uh, vampire clan. Uh, maybe your rival, so if you meet that person, you have a hard time to not to argue against uh, that person and so on. They give you two points. So we have uh, seven points. Uh, I won't take any merits, but there's a whole list with merits here. Um, so yeah, just look through that uh, if you want. And all the flaws and merits is in the V20 uh, Vampire the Masquerade book. Uh, so we have uh, 7 points from here and 15 points from here, that's 22 points. Uh, these up here cost 5, these cost 2, these cost 7, 1, 2, uh, 1. Uh, and merits are individually uh, paid. So we want. Um, I think these are quite good. You're good artist. Uh, maybe more in manipulation if you want to sell your your stuff for a higher price or something, but not something you have to do. But we would take present uh, for seven points. Uh, so people are entranced by us, want to do stuff for us. And use a little point here. Um, we can take it a little more in hurt, so we have more people to feed on. They come willingly. Uh, and contact one is fine. Then if you want him to be a rich artist, you can put this higher up. But I think this one is not that rich. He's just only living. Uh, on his art. Um, alternative identity could be higher, let's take that higher. So people have a harder time, you know, find out that you have a fake uh, ID or passport or something. Uh, so that is three points, plus that, that's ten. Then our willpower, I recommend take your willpower as high as possible every time. Uh, eight point, nine point. Then we have four points left. Uh, etiquette, one higher. And what could be good here? Uh, I will take, I will take uh, perform one. Then you are a little bit of maybe make a little show about selling your paintings and so on. You can make it different. Um, then the only thing you need is to uh, uh, write down uh, what you get from your resources. Here's it will be the paintings and so on. And uh, hurts, who is it, how many do you have, and so on. Contacts. Um, and on the bottom, your age, appearance, when you died, everything. And that will be it. Uh, the last thing we need is, uh, is specialties for everything we have four or more in. Uh, you can find that in the book. They are only suggestions, so you can talk with your GM if something makes sense. Your dexterity could be art painting or something, or sculpture in the decks, uh, or maybe just art, so every kind of art, maybe. You're good with your hands. Uh, and when you have done that, I think that is... You only have to find a name for your... Uh, Toriano and write your own name uh, for the one who made it. Uh, that is me, Magnus. Uh, you write your name, and that will be it. See ya. Bye.